Do you struggle to get good views on your social media pages? Are you sick and tired of your videos on social media constantly being stuck at a couple of hundred views? If you do, then this is a perfect video for you, as inside of this video, I'm going to be exposing the top five most common mistakes that could be the difference between you getting 300 views on your video and getting over 300,000 views on your video. If you're wondering what does this guy know about social media or why should I listen to this guy, I have grown my page Millionaire.Aesthetic to over 500,000 followers on TikTok and over 200,000 followers on Instagram in less than a year. I've also more recently grown a TikTok page called The Motivation Motive to over 50,000 followers in less than two months and I documented the whole process here on YouTube. And finally, I've helped hundreds of people grow successful social media pages through my Discord and also this very YouTube channel. So without further ado, the first mistake that I see a lot of people make is they post from their computer and not from their phone. To be totally honest, I'm not sure why this is technically a mistake, but there is a lot of people in my Discord that tend to be getting a couple hundred views. I ask them, are you posting from your computer or from your phone? They say computer. Then they start posting from their phone, they come back to me a couple of days later saying, bam, the first video they posted or within the first couple of videos they posted from their phone, they end up getting 3,000 views instead of 50 views. I've also experienced this myself with YouTube Shorts. While I haven't really been consistent with posting on Millionaire Aesthetics YouTube Shorts, when I first started posting, I did just post them all on YouTube from my desktop. However, I realized that I wasn't getting views, so I thought I'd try posting it from my phone. And once I started posting it from my phone, I got better results. So this is proven for me and also a lot of people that have been inside of my Discord. So if you are currently posting from your computer or your laptop, try posting from your phone for a week and then see if it makes any difference. Number two on my list is scheduling content. Another thing I tend to see people doing quite often is scheduling their content and they're not getting any views. Another common trend that I tend to see with people that are struggling to get views on their videos is they're using some sort of platform to schedule their posts or they are scheduling them even inside of the app. Once again, I can't tell you exactly why this tends to lessen people's reach. However, when I've done this myself and when I've seen people try it for themselves, it has had a little bit of an impact. While you can still go viral with a scheduling platform, I'm not saying you can't, I definitely find that it's a lot more consistent to get views if you go on and post it yourself. Now, I know scheduling makes everything a whole lot easier and a whole lot smoother. And maybe for some of you guys, you might have a job or you might be going to school, so you can't really go on and post at the time you want to post. So I actually have two solutions for this. The first solution is the one that is totally free, nice and easy. What you're gonna do is when you make your videos, you're just gonna go and draft them, make sure you have everything ready to go. That way, when it is time to post, you can just go on your phone and upload that draft. As that way, when you get a split second at work or maybe in school, if you get a break in between lessons, you can just go on, press post, and it'll be nice and quick. However, if this isn't gonna work for you, what I would suggest and what I have done in the past is paying someone to go on your account and post for you. Now, if you are going to go ahead and do this, make sure you're being extremely careful with who it is that you actually hire to go on your page and post for you. This is especially important if you are somebody that has maybe already grown a bit of a following and has a page that is worth a fair bit of money. You don't want that person to go on your account and just take it and run and maybe sell it to somebody else. So if you are going to get somebody to go on your account and post for you, make sure this person is someone that you trust, someone that you maybe know. And also, if you want to be extra careful, maybe get them to sign an NDA that way you are covered if they try and do anything fishy you've got that legal covering to sort of deter them from doing something fishy and if they do then you can actually go and do something about it the third point i'm going to talk about is not using the right background music now when i say this i'm not specifically talking about trending sounds i'm not saying oh you have to use trending sounds or anything it's more so just the music fit in the mood of the video a lot of times i'll really look at people's videos and the videos can be great however the music makes or breaks a video the music that you choose to put in your video can definitely make or break a video especially if you're in certain niches there's been a lot of times where i've looked at people's videos and i think their video is very good however the music that they used is not very fitting or even the music they've used is kind of fitting but also it is not very popular one within their niche you want to make sure that you keep track of the songs that are being used a lot in your niche and are doing well for people and getting people views as these songs are just going to be able to hopefully get you more views and also as a viewer when you're scrolling if you hear a song that you like and you've been hearing a lot recently it might just click and you might on that video a little bit longer giving you enough time to actually get people interested in your video. Just to clarify, when I say pick music that fits the mood of your video, if your video is maybe a sad video or your video is maybe something relatable, make sure you pick songs that tend to go well with those kind of videos. This way, it's just gonna make your whole video seem a lot better. Point number four that I see people constantly making mistakes with and not going viral because of it, is they are not putting enough effort into the first part of their video. If you want to go viral on these short form platforms, you really need to focus on hooking people in. I see a lot of good videos on social media not get any views because the first part isn't great. However, the rest of the video is really good and would keep me watching but I just don't get hooked in in the first part, which means the majority of people will scroll past it. So when you are making your videos, make sure that you really put the extra effort on the first bit, as if people don't get past the first bit, they're not gonna see the rest of it. So really make sure that first bit is really good, it hooks people in, whether that is the scripting that you use, whether that is the visuals that you use, whether that is putting a transition, whatever it may be, 
really focus on hooking people in and then the rest of the video can do the rest of the talking. The way I like to think of it is the first sort of zero to five seconds of your video is almost like a thumbnail on YouTube. You can have the best video in the world on YouTube. However, if your thumbnail is rubbish, nobody's gonna click on it. Nobody's going to know it's the best video in the world. So make sure in those first five seconds, you really get people interested so that they stay on and watch the rest of your video. And then hopefully they like the rest of your video, which is gonna to lead to you getting more views and then more followers. And my fifth and final point is consistency. I know I always talk about consistency and always relate to it. However, the amount of times I get people telling me to look at their page or say what they're doing wrong, they haven't been growing and they've only posted five videos is pretty laughable. Five posts or even 10 posts for that matter is nowhere near enough posts to actually be expecting to get a viral video. You need to be spending a fair amount of time in your niche, experimenting with your niche, learning new things, looking at your competitors, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, before you can start to say, oh, it's not gonna work, social media doesn't work, I can't go viral. You need to learn what works in that niche before you can then start to complain about social media or algorithms not pushing your content. Now, while I am trying to help you guys speed up that learning curve with the content and the resources that I provide, there are just some things that take time to learn and the more experience you have with it and the more testing you do, the better you will get. You will learn a lot more than you're actually going ahead and trying and doing things then you will just watching video and watching content about how to do something. You need to experience failure in order to actually end up improving and getting results in the long run. So if you are struggling to get views, make sure that you're actually spending enough time in your niche and enough time practicing and even studying other people in your niche and just learning all together before you can start complaining about not getting views. I hope this video can be the solution to your problems if you are struggling to get views on any of these social media platforms. If you are struggling and you're thinking about giving up or thinking about quitting, just know that if you don't quit, you can't lose. Eventually, after trying enough times and showing up every single day, something is going to work. So make sure that you keep on posting, you stick with it, because you never know what is gonna be around the corner. It only takes one video to go viral to then snowball your account and get views on all the rest of your videos. Now, if you want to see me practice what I preach and grow a TikTok page from scratch, check out this playlist over here as inside of this playlist is a full series of me growing a TikTok page from zero followers all the way up to now over 50,000 followers in the space of two months so far. And if you did enjoy this video and or found it valuable in any kind of way, it would be much appreciated if you could drop a like on this video as it helps me reach more people with my videos and helps me to help more people, hopefully like yourself. If you have any questions, be sure to drop those in the comments as I respond to all of my comments. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything that we've got coming to this channel. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next one.